Howdy, 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 y'all. Welcome back or welcome to Fort Destiny, where we are back in the Infected. There's been a big update, but today is not about the update. Today is about how to get iron from early game to later in game. So right now we're going to go around and pick up the small stones, because that's what you're going to use to get your iron in the beginning of the game. You can also mine it if you have a pickaxe from the stone nodes, and I will show you what those look like. But yeah, I was asked where's iron at in the game when I covered the all ore tutorial, which I'll put a link up above momentarily. If you haven't seen that, check it out. All ore camps in croc locations uh, revealed, and I've mined the heck out of this area. So uh, we're we're pretty in on, I think we're on year two or three in this world. So we got to actually go a little bit further out. Oh, there's a stone. To find stone. So yeah, here's a stone node right here. They do not respawn, and that's to encourage you to go adventure some more. So grab this up with our handy dandy iron pickaxe. I think you should get... Oh, I forget what the number was. It's been a while since I played. I know clay pits will always give you a stack of 10, but I don't remember how many stone nodes will always give you. Alright, so we got a bunch of stone on us. Um, I actually want the pickaxe out of my hand, but it's not going to go out of my hand. Because it's silly like that. Unless I pick up a log. So we'll go pick up a log and put it back down just to have our hands free. We do have some stone collected here. But I wanted to show you what stone looks like, so I brought you out. I'm going to pick up a log put it right back and then you can hit n on your stone holders and move them around which makes it very handy when you're going out further to collect uh, in the beginning you're going to have the other verticals which are oops, wrong button uh placeables is it uh no which one is it under i can't remember it's been a while since i made the one stone forge is what you're going to want in the beginning right now we had the brick forge because like i said we are a little bit further in we still have to build our defenses up and you're going to put now that I put all the stone away, that should have been nine. You're, if you left alt and right click your mouse, you can just push them in. You don't have to like do it one at a time, which is amazing. And then we're going to light it up. You can put your forges out with one drop of water if you're not using it to save on fuel. So that's what we did earlier. So you're going to let that go. And there you go. Iron fragments is what you get. So you need five iron fragments to make one iron bar. So we're going to pull all those out, and then you actually have to drag when you have the five stack over, which that's no biggie deal. Those are going to make two iron bars for us. Then later on in game, when you're able to make the mineral extractor, which is right here, uh, placeables, other, this baby right here, mineral extractor, it says extract stone and ore, see map marker for specific ore extraction locations. And um, these are specific locations we are living down here, which is a cobalt area because right up to the north we have a copper area and northeast we have an aluminum area so we have all three ores right here but if you put the mineral extractor on the grass outside of the dirt area then you will get iron bars or iron ore iron fragments and stone so then you can also be collecting iron from that i should probably want to do another one of these like right here just to double up because you need iron for so many different things and that is fueled by uh, biofuel if you need to make biofuel i just do a whole bunch of fishing and throw it in a chesticle and then once it goes bad, you take your spoiled food, which I need to do a tutorial on that by itself too, but I want to tell you how to power the mineral sector. Otherwise, it's kind of going to be pointless to you. And then three spoiled food. That's the wrong bench. Where did I put my workbench? Oh, we put the workbench over here. I know, I know. I forgot we moved it. My bad. Uh, three spoiled food makes one biofuel. And that will run, it'll fill a quarter of it up. You need four biofuels to fill it up all the way, which I generally like to do. So let's go ahead and do foa. I did some hunting before I started recording this so I can make a food tutorial. And then, as you can see, this is uh, three quarters of the way full. So we're going to split one out of here and only put one in because I don't want to overfill it. And every four minutes, you're either going to get a stone, an iron fragment, or an iron ore. This one is placed on the dirt. Oh, did we just finish winter? We might have. It's been like a month since I played. Um, this one's on extract only stone. So I have tons of cobalt, so right now I need to work on more iron, so we're getting all that from here. Let's go ahead and put one more of you in. So yeah, that's how you get iron all the way through the game. It just gets a little bit faster once you can put these mineral extractors down. I'm probably super overweight, but it's okay. We can just ice skate across the water. Oh yeah, nailed it. Oh, I do that every time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And as always, before I go, remember... When gaming, have fun, play hard, but in real life, be the change you wish to see in the world. Hope this helped. Later, y'all. Okay, you're in the wrong spot, and it's driving me a little crazy. I need you to be, like, perfectly even. Right there. Yay, happy death.